to another episode of Dojo Setting. Uh, today we are going to be setting a tow hook catch. Uh, so what is a tow hook catch? A tow hook catch is very similar to a reverse catch. Uh, if you didn't catch that video, we'll post a link to it. Um, but instead of catching your hand on another hold to stop your momentum, you're going to be catching a tow hook on a hold to stop your momentum. So uh, let's dive in and let's get it going. Let's start with putting some start holds on. Uh, these, you're gonna find this is, is a trend in a lot of these videos. I'm gonna put these as a gas stone so that your momentum is gonna take you away from these holds. So let's pop them on. The next thing we're gonna do is put the first foot hold on. This is not the toe catch hold. Uh, the thing with this hold is it needs to be very, very directional. Uh, so let's grab one, let's put it on. When I'm placing the, this foothold here, I really want the climber to tow in on this side of the hold. I don't want them to tow in. I don't want them to, to press on the hold. I want them to have to pull on the hold. Uh, the foot needs to be close enough to the start holds where you can't just perch onto it. Uh, it's it's got to be kind of a bigger move so that your momentum is going to take you away from the hold. Now I'm going to put the hold that we're driving to on and uh, that'll allow me to place the tow hook hold effectively. When we're placing this hold, we don't want it to be within reach of the start hold. Also, notice that this pinch is fairly vertical. The reason being is if you're able to down pull on it, you're gonna be able to stop your momentum without having to tow hook. With the toe, right now we have a left foot here. Right foot is going to tow hook. It needs to be something fairly high profile. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna have nothing to catch on to. I placed the hold in an area that I think my toe would catch on. We're gonna try swapping the tow hook hold out. Uh, the tow hook catch does work. However, this hold is actually pretty difficult to hang on to. Most of my weight is on my feet. Um, as an individual move, this works, but in the context of a whole climb, it doesn't really work uh, because I can't move from it. Cool, uh, so that does work. Now let's try to break it. First thing I'm gonna try to do is uh, do the move without the toe hook. That doesn't quite work, and that's a good thing. We don't want it to. Uh, the reason being is this hold is so vertical, and the momentum that it takes to get over there, it's really hard to stop that momentum without having that opposing force caused by the tow hook. works that way and it's a pretty easy fix. You'll notice the reason why it was able to work that way is that I could start with my hands on the right side of the start hold. We're going to swap the start holds out for something that you cannot grab on the right side of the hold. Uh, so I think we're in a good spot with it. 
I don't think that it's cheatable. Uh, if it is, it's going to be much harder than just doing the catch. Um, so I think we're in good shape there. So I hope that inspired you to uh, try something a little bit more dynamic on your slabs. Uh, I am not fortunate enough to have a slab at my house, um, but if you guys do, I would love to see the videos. Uh, tag me in them uh, on Instagram at dojo underscore setting. Uh, it's going to be right there. And uh, let me know what you want to see next. Drop a comment down below. Hit that like and subscribe. We'll keep dropping videos uh, on a fairly regular basis. So we'll see you next time.